And uh, what I want to do <coughs> is make this little wheel spin with just the shielded magnet. Okay, so the shielding is on this side, and uh, here the, ba the batteries are on this side. So what it's supposed to do, I've placed the magnet so both here repels. As you can see, the magnet are where the tuck tape is. So there is one magnet. There's one magnet right there, and if I want to stick the magnet to it, it won't, it just will go between. So, I want to try to make the thing spin, but uh, as you can see, it's not working. I have to move the magnet and play with it if I want it to spin. But the goal is to make it spin without uh... okay so I'll just undo this these uh, magnetic shielding to show you people how I've done it but it's not working so it's pointless I think this video is only for uh, James Rooney to help me uh, get set up with my uh, shielding this is the unshielded side we can see the magnet is right here so and the shielded side is this side and this side so I guess I should have shielded uh, all the way around maybe here 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 and well this one is done and this one's also done so I should have done maybe sh shielding on this side and this side and that side so I'll open the thing up this is the first layer of my little shielding case uh, this is the separator don't need it anymore that battery I showed in the video then I remove the thing okay so that's what well, what it was this stuff is magnetic by the way as you can see so in French it's called uh, you call you call it I think flashing but uh, in, here in Quebec flashing is a uh, aluminium stuff that goes around the window um, this stuff is called uh, in told the new it's galvanized steel and it's for roofing and stuff like this as you said in your video so I opened this one so now I have the separator and the other battery so that was the unshielded side I'll put it up right now and if I still decide it was open put it there it sticks in between two magnets which means it's supposed to repel with these as you can see I can't even approach it without slipping on one side or another so this one is done for so is this one and this little piece of aluminum tape so the shielding here is pretty much the same so well uh, I guess I'll try to build another one and uh, shield all the way around by the way guys I uh, just want to let you know I've seen a movie yesterday it's called Zeitgeist I think you should uh, type this on Google and uh, the movie is free to watch over the internet it's really worth a watch. It's uh, spelled uh, Z E I T G A B C G G E I S T. It speaks about uh, how money is created and what's the big deal, uh, why everyone is uh, always running after money. 
And why is money ruling our society? It's pretty interesting in the... Uh, I think they should show this at school. Uh, freaking... Okay, YouTubers, uh, this will be the moment of truth. So, the shielding is done this way. Shielding all around, then there's a gasket all around that has the same form. Then inside, there's another shielding sheet, which has the form of this one. And uh, still inside, so this is the cap. Putting it on, there we go. Then I'll tape the whole thing. Then it's the moment of truth. We'll see if it works or not. Let's say I'll use this punch. So, the unshielded side is here. And as you can see, it's thick pretty well too. This is the shield inside. Still sticks, but with almost no effect. Same thing here. Okay, so let's try with the rotor. How to get this thing running? Will be the next question of this quiz show. So basically, uh, well, conclusion we did need prevent stuff from sticking on this side, or this side, or this side, or this side, or this side, and this one sticks pretty well. But, the rotor is not turning. So, I'll wait for some uh, advice or whatever to get this thing running and I might make an all, another video uh, someday till then stay tuned